Sure, we tweeted. Ask chat how the volume is. Attack. Whoa, 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 whoa. No muss, no fuss, everybody. Couldn't steal. Make sure the twitch is not twitchy. Are you ready for, you know, possibly getting attacked by Doom Gaze at every turn? Yes. <coughs> Speak up, Ratmus. <coughs> oh, that's speaking up. Frugal my moogles, man. i use frugal. Now that it's been, you know, two minutes and you haven't done anything, uh, welcome everyone. This is Rockman and Ratmus, and of course Sadie, and welcome back to uh, Ratmus plays FF6 with the wonderful uh, craziness of the wrong command. Natural magic, no shop run. Yeah, it's been like a week and a half. It seems like you know an eternity. <clears throat> Yeah, I believe the question was, well, what do you do next? Well, uh, chat vote. Cat's dead, so... So I vote. Can we get, uh... <coughs> um... What, you actually need to do something before you get, uh, Realm. Well, you need to pretend that you're getting Realm, uh, but then you, you fight that painting called Still Life, but then you need to leave in disgust because you need to get that uh, rage before you go any further in that place, because if you don't get it then, then it's going to be a huge pain in the ass. Okay. Now, if Song were here, you know, she would uh, confirm that what I'm saying is correct, because I don't remember the name of the rage. I, I know it's the rage... Um, that I used on Kefka that time where, you know, if, if it hits an enemy, I think it's called Charm. That's not the name of the Rage. You have Gal, right? I'll put him in the party. Well, you don't need him now. You need to go to uh, Jidor first. Do the Jidor command. Yes. But yeah, there, there's some... Uh, Enemy full map. Oh god. Or fucking Jidor is. I don't. It's the fucking, you know, lowest town in the world map or something. I don't know. It's the lowest common denominator. Going around to get you in the game to be fine. Uh thrilled. This is my rand up. But anyways, you will get a rage that will have a thing that will allow you to uh, make enemies hit themselves. And then you ask why they hit themselves. Here's the damn map. Okay, so it's close to that. Like you said, there's no harm flying around with your pants half off. That's exactly what I said. See. 
go up to that guy's house and you'd uh, slap him in the face? You can try, but, you know, he's already dead. Only on the inside. You turn this music back up. Stay your way. You need to read a wonderful story. Stay your way. But this was a bit. Read it to us, Ratmus. Just spent an absolute fortune! Like, enough to buy, like, one two hundredth of an airship and shove it up my ass. I mean, forget that part. It's my largest painting yet with big, you know, mammoth boobies. <laughs> I'll decide later where to display it, but probably over my sex, you know, den. Now, when you said one two hundredth of an airship to shove up your ass, I immediately thought of this. An artist came from Zozo. I, I never heard of Zozo, but he says it's a place because I don't travel. What how want, how talented is he? He's about as talented as a magic bucket, which doesn't exist, by the way. Brought a new <laughs> stairway lamp at the item shop. Expensive, but totally not haunted. <laughs> I thought you were going to say he's about as talented as that my pillow guy. Yes. Flip on the switch and everything's bright and cheery because we have indoor, you know, electronics and shit. But do you have indoor plumbing? I invited over an artist from Butt Whiskey about the talented, uh, he, he said talented as a bucket. I was just making that up. Sure you were. She's just about as talented as that magic bucket I spoke of earlier because that's the only reference I can make. <laughs> about as talented as that magic bucket I took a dump in. Yes. In Narsh, three years ago. <laughs> Something's happening to me. I started when I looked at that uh, picture that was painted. It started when I looked at the bucket that I threw up in. Yes. <laughs> then I threw up again. <sighs> then I threw back another shot of whiskey. <laughs> I've been hearing odd noises from downstairs. Then I threw the big game. Yes. Now everything's all bright and cheery. <sighs> Let's go check out these non-magical buckets. <laughs> he he puked or shat in every one of them. He puked in this one, pissed in that one, <sighs> shat in that one. And sometimes both. Or all three. Now, speaking of, you know, buckets, you remember that wonderful Deep Space Nine episode where uh, Nog put oatmeal in Odo's bucket and then dumped it all over Jake and said it was Odo? Yeah. <sighs> Hilarious. You should talk to that Emperor twice, right? Because that's important. There's a treasure hidden up my ass. <laughs> Third time he's just strangling you. Not that. The portrait of the lovely lady that you fight over there. This bucket looks ancient and magical. But the still life of flowers, yeah, that's what I'm not, not the lovely lady, but the still life of flowers. Nightshade, yeah, this is the, this is the enemy, this is the rage. Nightshade. Alright, now, I gotta look up that wonderful, uh, Velt algorithm. Get your friend into SOB. Did he hit you with that? I uh, hit, uh, Mog. Alright, so uh, if anyone's wondering, I googled the Velt algorithm and came up with this website. Uh, it is called the Final Fantasy VI Encyclopedia at RPGLegion.com. So if you want to know uh, how to get those rages, you know, I'm not being paid, but you know, I'm, this is totally an advertisement for them, whoever made that website. Wait, so is he da he's dancing on your own party now? Oh shit. <laughs> He's, he's so fucking poisoned, he doesn't know what he's doing. He's already charmed, you dumb idiot. As long as they keep char charming him instead of somebody else. That's true. I, I, I would say, like, why don't you kill Mog, but then they might, you know, charm somebody else. What would uh, Bobby Monahan say about that kitty? <sighs> kitty. My precious kitty cat. It's a choking hazard. Oh yeah, 
Yeah, since we went live early, maybe I should, uh, I don't know, tell that to people. I couldn't steal. Survive that? Yeah. Alright, now I'll go to the belt. Lithgow? Uh, well, yeah. John Lithgow? We're looking for is in group 37. That's in group 30. 30. <coughs> I told him, love using Gal. You can use Nightshade on uh, literally anyone. I don't think it works on literally everyone. Uh, always say, kids. this video game in real life. Thunder shield and flame shield. So you get a, you get a buckle in the buckle. You get a bucket. This is using illegal shields. Oh god. Medal of Freedom, what do I care? Zone last night, All right? What is this enemy? It's one Cephalor and one Baskerville. Uh, was, was there two Cephalors and one Baskerville? No, it's one each. That doesn't exist according to this. This, there is no group that has one of each. There's only a two Cephalor and one Baskerville, unless it's a misprint. Alright, what's this? Sky Armor and Spitfire. Looks like uh, we can't tell which one's which. Oh, wait, I was reading that wrong. Okay, no, it's okay. No, it, it's one Cephalor and one Baskerville, and then a Sky Armor, Sky Armor, Spitfire. Okay, that's group 22. All right, next should be group 23. And I said that we're looking for group 37, so. It's the same thing. Just, well, one of each this time. Sky Armor and Spitfire? Yeah. Yeah, all right. This is group 23. <laughs> Shouldn't have had him leap. Because we don't know. 
know if he's gonna get back in time. Just basically pull the sand back in and leave before he should have. Yes. Can't come back in a pincer attack. <sighs> Another one he can't come back in. This is group 24, three brain pans. Group, you might find a Mr. Peeper, so god. Chris Katan of all purple! Yesterday or the day before, Gino was trending on Twitter and it was a hockey player and all the me all these messages were like, people, you know, thinking Gino's trending on Twitter because he's in Smash only to find out it's a fucking hockey player. Yes. Sad Gino face. <sighs> Sad Gino at least in Smash, come on. Gino the hockey player will get into Smash before Gino the... Oh god, what's going on here? Smirking and furping. Possibly run away. Uh, I think so. Oh, which is awake. At that time, Doom ran away too quickly. Yes. Here you've given me 30,000 bits. How many are you saving for my wonderful uh, anniversary stream? So many. Minasaur. Mesothelioma. So. You could be entitled to mesothelioma. That's group 25. Looks like we didn't find any Mr. Peepers. Escape. Escape. No escape. Soon, otherwise you're gonna be up the ass. Yo, yo. Yo, yo, yo. That's group 26. Okay. Oh, ten groups away, but you may not encounter every group. You know. <sighs> I'm gonna need to get my pot of sub back. That's 
Five. You're just making me thirsty.
wondering how it's mag rotor yellow, mag rotor yellow, mag rotor brown, a little one. Next fight will be Nightshade. Speaking of which, I know it's second edition and we don't care, but they made uh, this set called Shore Leave that was supposed to be like a Christmas uh, treat uh, that's all about laughter, friends, and a smorgasbord of delectable treats with wonderful chefs like Neelix. So it's all about it's all about chefs and food and, you know, Shore leave with friends. If you look at this, it's a hot mess. The mess is on fire. Hilarious, right? It's a dilemma where you need a chef. By that time, Data said you're more of gravy than of grave. This is Jacob Marley. Good times. By that time, he said he's my number one dad. How are your friends, Keiko, Guinan, and Ro? Want some goth, bitch? Want goth? This is a great card to have. Second breakfast. Mission to defend android rights, that sounds fun. Benjamin Sisko, Master Chef. According to him, beets are a very misunderstood vegetable. What do you think about that? Beets by Drake. Would you rather have you know him as a master chef or as the fucking emissary of the fucking prophets? They both can make me, you know, biscuits. <laughs> they both can stew you some beets. Cyber's drone. I don't know what that has to do with anything. I can't see damn son of a bitch. I don't know what this guy has to do with, you know, good times and chef. Jean-Luc Picard in the Nexus. In the name. And Merry Christmas to you too, bitch. It's weird because it's like you basically can't use this guy unless I like you discard a temporal card. <clears throat> Whatever the hell that means. You remember this fucking old geezer? In one of the articles it says that this is the first time in either first or second edition that this guy has appeared as a card. <laughs> like, you know, that's weird that he hasn't, but then again, why would you want some fucking, you know, 150 year old asshole of an admiral in a wheelchair? Yes. <clears throat> Well, it's because when you play this personnel, name a card type. Each player may download a card of that type. <sighs> what a fun guy. Yes. <sighs> Tour. Luna liked your oh, poster about the hot mustard. According to this, Neelix is a culinary usurper. 
That's uh, you know, offensive. You're comparing him to uh, Zant. I guess it's referring to the fact that he just set up a mess hall and stole vegetables, you know, without even asking permission. But, you know, sometimes a chef's got to do what a chef's got to do, you know? Do you remember this guy? No, that's because no one does, because he died in a fucking transporter accident before he could replace Spock. When this personnel is killed, you may download a movie-era type personnel. You know what, I think I'll download, uh, you know, Captain Spock, right? Quark, smarmy restaurateur. I love the picture of this is, he says, no refunds for those on the path to Kalhaya. That's where, you know, the, they thought the wedding was off and they were ordering like all these like food and then they get like, the wedding's back on and he takes the food away, no refunds. Yeah. And they were gonna kill Worf. Kill Worf. Now, would you rather have this quark or this quark? Obviously, I know the answer. <sighs> You remember this fat Klingon guy who loves Gah? Yes. And he's a chef. For some reason, Regent War from the alternate universe, you know, is awesome. <laughs> Do you remember Sovereign Maruk of Akamar 3? Do I? Mortal Q, student of the humanities. I thought his cunning was supposed to be Q, which is treated as zero. Well, now his cunning here is nine. Which is also treated as zero. Very clever, Worf. Eat any good books lately? Some Romulan commanding bitch. A Romulan affiliated Spock who loves drinking Romulan ale. Oh, yo, yo. His quote is, there's no doubt that the cuisine aboard your vessel is far superior than that of the Enterprise. Whoa. <sighs> bitch. Do you remember this Admiral from Enterprise? No, I don't either. Alright, so we got that, so I'm done with this. <sighs> yes. Remember that time Riker was the chef? Was the shiznit, yes. Ducat's warship, the Excelsior. What card was I looking for? You remember Parthos Alayuta, right? Mm -hmm. See, I thought she was a card in this, but it's just her. Alright, anyways, enough of that shit, enough of that shit. could get Cyan, you could get Shadow, you could get Realm, you could get Omaro, although you have to fight Tritok. Um, you could, you know, go to Kefka's Tower and steal some shit, you could go to the, uh, Coliseum and uh, probably die. I think I need a little bit more leveling with the. Uh, <sighs> Equip those aspers. I mean, what? Oh god. Alright, so what are we doing, right, miss? Chat vote. Chat's dead. Chat, go get him. Get yeah, I think that's probably a good idea because then you could get Strago and you know he can learn some lores, right? Yeah. So where is she? Back to Jidor again. Mm -hmm. I like 
it was the first time. Portrait of a lovely lady is a portrait of Ashley from GameStop. Yes. <clears throat> she told me you might shade out on you. Let's see if this works. <coughs> I guess it did. Oh, and shoelaces were tied together. She got the ammo weapon. Yeah. Moodle suit. There's a Moodle suit coming up in a chest. St. Elfmo's fire. Yes. St. Elfmo's fire burning. Like this chair. Shit, it's Granny Gamey. <sighs> I thought it was, uh, you know, Annie from uh, Speed. That wildcat on wheel. <sighs> or as he said in the Japanese dub, Wild the Cat. Experience here than you know, you... but they, these are enemies are annoying too. It's like you know, gonna get uh, experience when you go to Kepka's Tower to steal stuff, right? So, like, I want to get Gino's level up a little bit higher too. Chest. So, <clears throat> you know it. Because I need more than one. Oh, 
shit. I'm dropping frames. Fuck. Fuck. Farts! What's going on? Got the real play. The stream is fucked. Just stay there. No, why is this happening? Way worse than before. It's not stopping. Basically not streaming at this point. Oh, what should we do? 